Hi everyone. On August twenty second, twenty twenty four, we hosted an online meetup in the DeFi AI Discord community, where we shared and demonstrated two core features of the DeFi version zero point seven: conversation variable and variable assigner nodes. Here is a recording of Gu, head of developer relations at DeFi AI, presenting these exciting updates live at the event. Now let's start. You know, like the the definition of of state machine、um, as a concept、uh, wasn't you know the creation of a workflow, and I think from programmatic perspective, you know, state machine、um, is a really widely used paradigm that you know like all developers are really familiar with、um, in terms of thinking about. Application development、um, and management because it, it gives really great clarity、um, to the different scenarios that you encounter、um, when you execute something as complex as a workflow.、Um, and you know, I think conversation variables really allows you to you know、uh, tap into that、uh, possibility.、Um, in, you know, like having different states、um, and creating different branches and different execution flows depending on the complex states. Uh, within a workflow, which is previously not really available, because、um, the only variables we have, you know, are outputs from models or from the nodes、um, or the inputs that are initially given by the user. At、um, as you can see, the the, the beginning、um, of a conversation input form. So、um, the introduction、um, of you know、uh, the variables,、um, as you can see here,、um, like I can open the variable panel、um, right、um, at the Uh, upper corner、um, of of the orchestration interface,、um, and you can see all the variables that you've defined、um, in a workflow. And this is actually a workflow that、um, I've been documenting myself,、um, which I actually introduced at the Japanese、uh, meetup that we had recently、uh, in Tokyo.、Um, but essentially, this is a it's actually a pretty complex workflow.、Um, but this、um, handles、um, the business related、um, commercial inquiries、um, that we typically encounter. Um, for the five,、um, and this is a a, a chapel kind of、um, that、uh, answers the rudimentary、uh, introductory questions,、um, and then also routes the questions that it cannot answer、uh, to our team Slack channel.、Um, so that's a brief overview of what it does,、um, and、um, I've actually added、uh, conversation variables to two parts、um, of the chapel to enhance its capabilities. And one really simple one is,、um, I think,、uh, for the purpose、um, of the application, it is really nice、um, if I can log a conversation、uh, to a Slack channel to remind everyone that a new conversation is happening,、um, and the user is talking to, like, a potential client of ours、um, is talking to this chat flow at the moment.、Um, and this is previously not doable because、um, you cannot really identify which turn. Uh, it does in a conversation, right?、Um, so, in a DeFi chat flow,、um, when you create a application、um, from a chat flow, oh, sorry, this is actually a workflow. I'll, I'll actually go back. So, when you create a chat flow, this only handles a a single round of conversation. Right. So every every time that I type something new, I type a new input message.、Um, this actually goes through the entire workflow,、um, and you know, like it's not configured,、um, you know, to take into account previous rounds of conversations.、Um, and because of this,、um, when when I have my commercial inquiry bot,、um, it's really hard to like, identify whether this conversation, like whether a a new user message. Marks the beginning、uh, of a new conversation or not,、um, and to do that,、um, variable assigner actually, you know, like that that, that basically controls、um, the the assignment、um, of conversation variables, and through variable assigner,、um, this node I can really easily、um, create a fab within the conversation variables, which I think、um, is this one、uh, as initial message. Um, and basically, this is a, a a number variable. We can choose different types of variables、um, from a dropdown,、um, and I chose the number.、Um, and you know, like I can just、uh, use this number as a flag、um, that allows me to switch between zero and one,、um, which helps me determine whether this message marks the beginning of a conversation.、Um, so 
because this uh, conversation variable persists um, on the basis of a conversation, um, this logic, this if else statement here basically says, um, when if if the initial message uh, conversation variable um, is initially assigned to one, right? Um, so if this is the case, um, this then you know this conversation variable takes that that that's the beginning of a conversation because this is the uh, initial stage of assignment for the variable. Um, then um, that does the logging um, of the new conversation to our Slack channel, um, and it also turns off uh, the, the variable um, by you know giving a new assignment. So in this case, um, I actually just cleared it out, right? So so now this variable um, does not contain a, like a number anymore. Um, so the next time in the next round of a conversation, uh, in the next round of messaging within the, the with, like within this uh, conversation, um, the now this uh, S initial message uh, conversation variable will no longer be one, um, and you will not enter this flow of if else. Um, so this will not be locked anymore. Um, so that's a really simple um, case of you know controlling the state um, or the branching of the workflow execution um, by you know assigning uh, variables um, and determining the state of the workflow um, and, the, and the state of the conversation uh, based on this, the, the combination um, of one or more variables. Um, so I hope that makes sense. Do you guys have any questions um, up until this point? Um, I can turn on memory um, and um, I can kind of like, you know, like uh, kind of also access the um, previous variables or, you know, like formats uh, the memory um, in a way that's, you know, desirable to me. But essentially this memory um, contains all the previous chat messages, like all the, uh, both the messages from the LLM and the messages that the user sent um, in previous conversation rounds for this specific um, LLM node. So it, it doesn't know, like, you know, like if I have a previous LLM node somewhere else, then those conversation history would, would like they will not be present um, within the memory. Um, so it's very limited in that sense. I hope that um, that clarifies the question. Uh, how previous answer questions are assigned? What do you mean the previous? Um, is the Previous answering questions are assigned. Can you maybe ask this question in a in a different way? <laughs> I don't think I'm thinking this question is on me. Okay, Chen Yi. See, in your uh, workflow, there are four variables, right? Uh, right. So I will get to that in a moment. Okay, okay. Oh, um, I think you simulate. Um, yeah, so it's actually doable. Um, so we offer something called, um, you know, workflow as tools. Um, so if I open the tools panel, there's actually a, a workflow, um, you know, tab, or you can see all the workflow that, you know, like your, you or your team members have configured as tools. Um, so, you know, like, like then they can just be directly plugged in um as a tool you just have to like follow like these variables um and then you know like have have that ready to be used um as a tool and then you know like once you have that the routing between different workflows um will be doable and it's really easy all right um i'm gonna talk about um the other variables i created um so as i mentioned right um there is the ability to add um, conversation history or memory um, that's loaded into one single LLM node. Um, but you know, like when you have a complicated workflow, um, you might be you know like generating answer and piecing an answer together was very 
um, their friends, a lot of them know that's like kind of scattered around um, a workflow. Um, and in that case, it's hard for once you go on a lot of for example, um, to access you know, the conversation history um, or variables that came before it or after it. Um, and in that case, um, you know, like, like this is also like a great use um, of conversation variables. Um, so, you know, here um, I've actually created, um, I think, just a bit of a background information. Um, so here I'm actually extracting different, uh, ex extracting questions uh, from users' um, original, um, you know, input questions. Um, so in this LLM node, um, so its task, you know, is to extract, um, you know, maybe one or more questions from users' initial input, um, and just you know, like, it's tied to a classifier, um, so that you know, like, like this can be properly framed and it's better um, utilized downstream uh, for RAG and everything. Um, but long story short, um, I think you know, like in a conversation uh, scenario, um, I really like you know, like like this knows uh to know maybe you know the 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 question right um, that that came before it um so in a scenario where you know like uh i'll just quickly do some um input so i might be asking things like you know um oh tell me what does the device enterprise version And while this is running, um, so this will give me like maybe hopefully some introduction of the best enterprise version. Um, but if I type a next question and say like you know like how much is it? Because um, without variables, um, this whole thing would be a stateless um, kind of you know one shot kind of workflow. Um, it will not know really you know what I mean by by it, right? Um, if I you know like, like if I'm processing, um, you know, like I'm piecing together an answer from multiple different um, LLM nodes. Um, then in that case, um, it's really important that, you know, like for me to like kind of like give specific information, you know, to one LLM node um, and, and to let it know that, you know, the, the context um, of, of, of what happened before, you know, like, like the specific message. Um, so you can do that really easily um, in a, um, you know, with uh, conversation variables. Um, so here, you know, like, um, I'm just adding an additional piece of the prompt, um, which basically says that, you know, like, oh, I can kind of like de determine whether this question um, is the first message was in the conversation. Um, and I can just really easily attach, you know, like the state of the uh, conversation by, you know, like, uh, including this initial message uh, variable within this prompt. Um, and if it's not the initial message, um, then the previous question would be, um, I assigned the previous question and the previous answer is this. Um, and then I basically just ask the LLM here to use these um, as the additional context um, when you're defining uh, and transforming the questions for me. Um, so this can, as you can see, this can be done in a really granular way, right? Um, so you can basically, you know, like insert these variables wherever and however you want uh, within different LLM nodes uh, within your entire workflow. Um, so right now, if I ask, you know, like how much is it, um, or maybe um, some other question, then uh, it should be able to give me like different answers. So if I say like, um, if I first did this differently, I guess, tell me about the fly enterprise version, maybe. Now it actually gives me something. Um, so yeah, so basically, like this is a introduction of um, you know our enterprise version's main features. Um, it gives me a price listing, and also gives me some other information that's you know like maybe relevant to my uh, decision of purchasing this. Um, so this is like background information on the price company. Um, and you know, as a customer, I might want to ask something like, uh, I don't know, actually, um, oh. How much is actually included? Oh, uh, maybe um, can I try it out before buying? 
So now you should be able to know what this is, um, you know, it's actually referring to. So right now, um, as you can see, um, this actually gives you the right answer, which is, um, you know, like we will be reaching out um, to, to, to facilitate this um, by um, the email that the user provided um, at the front. So yeah, so this is basically, uh, I think, you know, hopefully that gives you some inspiration um, as to using conversation variables. Um, and, you know, I think this is a really fun uh, feature. Um, and, you know, like I think it can be utilizing a lot of different creative ways. Um, so I hope that you all go and have fun.